All right, I wanted to uh, make a little video and kind of give a update on this little uh, guitar amp I'm trying to build. Kind of a midway point, I guess. I've been working on it off and on here and there. Whenever I get the urge, making a mess of my little bench here. But as you can see, <clears throat> got the filtering in, got uh, some of the tube wiring done. I'm working on the 12AX7 right now. That's about where I stopped, I guess. And I'm trying to figure out, once I got the plate in the box here's the box cut me a little little piece of uh, old uh, press blanket rubber to put in the bottom just a little extra protection there left the louvers uh, open so it'll draw air and cool and not that I'm expecting it to get real hot but does have three tubes in it and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make my connections in the front panel here oops front panel here and when I need to get in the box how I'm gonna take the front panel off without a bunch of really long wires coming out which I don't want and the best thing I can come up with so far is maybe uh, some Molex connectors, one on each side or something. <clears throat> Depending on how I wire it up. <clears throat> Trying to figure that out. And I still gotta, <clears throat> pardon me, still gotta drill some holes in the case here for the tone knobs gonna go over here and uh, negative feedback control it's gonna go over here I think I'm gonna do that mod after all and uh, so I still got to figure that out I put in a little uh, little trim pot for the bias on the 6v6 Let's see what else can I say I got three more connections on the 12 ax7 I gotta do so I've got shielded wire for that so this is some uh, really high grade shielded wire that Uh, comes from I don't know if I should say or not I probably shouldn't say but it's a uh, very high grade it's thin it's small but it's uh, very extremely high grade stuff so it works good for input and let's see oh I got a on the back side of the box there I still got to make a place for uh, the uh, output and I'm thinking about putting in a switch back there and just one jack so you can switch between four and eight ohms instead of putting two jacks let's see what else can I say so anyway, this is the about a midway point, I guess. Still got some stuff to figure out. And yeah, I got some long wires going because I'm not sure where they're going to hook up yet. And inside the box. And this is kind of just the back of the plate thing. 
that's what the front side's looking like. Got your output transformer wires. Looks like everything will sit in there okay. I don't think we'll have any trouble with that. And uh, stay tuned if uh, this is uh, somewhat interesting to you. I'll keep up and dating as I go along. I don't know how long it'll take me. I just work on it when I feel like it. I don't really, I'm not trying to cram, you know. Oh, I got to get this done, got to get this done. No, it ain't that. Anyway, thanks for watching if you watched. Bye.